Hello ladies and boys, I'm here in Bath with some of our stalwart Trini Tribe of Southwest and we are off on a shop up in Bath. Now we decided to look at the local department store, we're going to start with Johnny's, or Johnny's and it's going to have lots of brands that hopefully you can find all over England and the rest of the world and then we might make a little stop in H&M and then we might make a little stop in the square, go see in our Petit. There's another one, Booth Cockapoo, where else could we go? Mabel and Grace. Mabel and Grace. So anyway, ladies, see what there is. This is really the equivalent of let's go shopping shopping in Cheltenham or Oxford or Edinburgh. You know, it's that kind of town which is a lovely historical town with a huge amount of heritage. Um, and a high rent. Let's talk high rents. Every single woman who I've spoken to listen bar says all the great shops are going because the rents are going up so much. So can I just say to Bath Council, yes. but anyway, it's difficult because I appreciate people have to make money and keep the community going. But also we love a high street. I'm not going to be Mary Porter's here because she owns that bit. But <laughs> it's like if you want to be able to not have to always go to a shopping centre to get our shops, we want to walk down a lovely street. Bath is an incredibly beautiful town and it would be really nice if all the shops you wanted would be in a small area and you could then have a day out with your friends shopping. Yeah. Yeah. So much more. Okay, it's all coming at you now. So anyone from Bath Council is listening, but otherwise we're just here for a non-political, enjoyable shop. -off. So ladies, uh, Trini Drivers have had their makeup done. We've done all that. So now we're going to try, first of all, Jolly's classic Hoff House Fraser department store with brands that should be in every, um, every regional big town. We're obviously not going to do the makeup section <laughs> because we're going to go straight to Booth Cockapoo said that over here is ladies, but there's already some ladies here. Phase eight. Okay. So I'm going to do. I'm not going in there yet. How many of you buy phase eight, ladies? No. But can I say something, Trini? Yeah. Phase eight is a curvy line, and this is Studio Eight. It's Oh, like really? a detachment from Do Facebook. Do you have studio eight here? No, it's an um, online brand. Ah. Online, yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. if you're over size 16, don't buy in store, buy online. Yeah. What's that tell you? Isn't that like so irritating? Do you want to try it on? Yeah. yeah. Just okay. because every time you tried it in store, it didn't necessarily work as well as it has done online. It, it is a bizarre reason to wear. It's because if I mean, like habits, people are used to the habits of feeling they wanted to do it in the privacy of their own home, but maybe some women are getting more confident and adventurous and actually would like to buy shopping outside. All right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh I my God, it's a cape with something. So who am I going to try it on? Let me see colors wise. Okay. No. I'm going to try it on. <laughs> it won't look good. Right. It's on dresses. Okay, I'm just going to try it on a couple of people. So take off your thing. It won't look good with a dress, no. but I love the idea of Beaver We've had a, so many different owners, but doing a load and green cape coat. So you're going to put your arms through there. You're going to put your arms through the armhole, but it is a cape. It's a cape coat. And that is just, and then also what I love about it, because a lot of capes can be quite, um, can be quite sort of giving you no shape, is that you can have that. I mean, not good to do with a broader young lace dress because it's like a winter look. So you can just get a sense of it. How nice. That is actually lovely. This is really, you know, really nice load and green. I think the color's very nice. Yeah. It's great that. We love that. Hands, heads up, beaver. Okay, yeah. would it be anyone else who would suit that here colour-wise? Alice, you'd suit it. You could actually wear it, even though you think you're blondie blondie, and you're in very summery clothes. Can we try it on you? Because I think that colour on you is a nice colour, because it is the colour of your... Oh, let me just... I'm just going to do that. Do you see? I'm forward like that. But that is actually yes. a beautiful, beautiful colour green yeah. for you. I'd never wear green. Yeah, it's a... Mm. Can I just say, what colour are your eyes? Hazel, so green, green. dominated more green. Yeah, and you should never wear, wear it green. because your eye yeah. colour now is bright green, and take that off, and it's gone to hazel. Yeah. So just consider a little bit of khaki in your life because you could really suit it. All right. Okay. Okay. So we like that. We've got a heads up from Beaver. Not high street prices here. This is not an H and M moment, and I don't even want to look at the price. It's going to be expensive. Put this first store we're in. I usually do a skim, okay, and I'll look and I'll go. 
leopard print but way too loud you've got to have a lot of great strong bone structure or a certain skin tone to be able to wear that so wrong for you well no you've got quite strong bone structure but you've got to see do you wear the print or does the print yeah. wear you okay so then we're doing this come back a bit out of the thing so this little thing do you wear the print or does the print wear you it's a big thing to try. So I look at that and I think that's really bold and powerful. You have to be very careful who wears it. So if we look at us all here who can wear it, you're the one who goes, I love that, yeah. which is interesting. So if I look at your skin, hair and eye, I just want to get some decent light here. I just want to have you just there. So you've got a very olivey skin. So you mm -hmm. can wear some of these strong colors. You've got a green eye, you've yeah. got a, a sort of um, brunette hair. Yeah. Um, so there's something which, and there's also a boldness to your dressing and you wore that double print last night so yeah. I know you can wear print and it was quite a big print last well, night. I, I worried about the yeah. makeup. <laughs> the thing so I, I look at do. that and I just, I'm just going to now casually just try. The only thing about this thing is what you'd wear it with because it's whether you can wear it with black. So just to... Oh, I've got this. Oh, hi, <laughs> okay, so it's, it's not the right size or anything. But no, but it doesn't, just the together. idea. <laughs> jacket over jacket, I just need to see it and how it works like that so mm -hmm. color wise you can so wear that print you can wear that yes. print, you see. Yeah. but i think the print looks best broken with yes. block especially with okay especially boobs. with big boobs yeah and it's a round neck shirt we're just mm. showing it now as a piece of print but you know there's very few colors where i say wear black with color i know but yellow can be one of them and you know white obviously is gray mm. navy you know, yeah. but but yes, I think you could wear it. It's amazing. I do yeah. like it. Looks it. Great. Yeah, it's like great. It. Really I zoomed great. into it straight away. She zoomed. Yeah. So this is the beam section, which I'm pleasantly surprised by. I'm just going to see down back here. There's something rather interesting. There's a kind of thievery dress. But that I think is kind of bad. So let me look at. Come here, chick chick. Come here. Come here. Come here. So this is that thing of having a piece. Now you're going like this saying, oh, it's tight. Frankly, if you can bend a bit, you're okay. Okay. That's what I'm going to say to you. you That's brand new information. <laughs> you have something underneath it. So you know what I would do with this? So this is a wrap dress. But but no, I would cut that thing. Okay. Cut it. Cut that and just let it drape. So, All right, yeah. so it's like a fabulous piece that drapes. So I've even, even, and this is like where you think, do I go to my local drankina and ask her to spend 20 quid? Mm -hmm. But generally, when you have something, you could tie it here, you could do that, and it ties a weird place. It's not under the boobs or over the boobs. Mm -hmm. So I prefer, this is what I would actually do if you could be bothered, is I would then just make it like that and then get that black bit put back on. So when it hangs, it hangs straight. It doesn't hang with a bit that comes out and goes in. But just as a cool thing to wear, I'm saying, I'm here, I've arrived. Let me have a look at you. It looks so nice. What do we think? It looks so nice. And it's like it's Kenzo. Yeah. You know, it's a kind of, it's got, and, and the colour on you too. Just don't always feel also, whatever size you might be, don't feel constrained. Look at something, do I love it? And, and uh, is there room in that garment for me to sit? Okay, oh, and there is one to sit in there, so that's fat. Yeah, I love that. I've just now seen something else I find amazing. I love that. Really amazing. So I'm going to see who I'm going to try it on. You, darling. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Feeling all right? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So look at me then, just so you keep your balance. And I'm just going to try this. What I like about this idea is it's a cape again with an armhole. Oh my God. Talk about some structure and glamour in your life, madam. Now, should we have a look in a mirror? So come round here. Behind you. Do you want to come to this one? That one. That one. Uh, that, but how glamorous is that? Uh, it's fabulous. Yeah. And then also, you can just have it hanging straight like that, or you could have your little necklace over. I don't even know what size I've picked off the shelf. But if you wanted to give yourself that winched in moment, I think this beaver thing is genius, by the way. You can just then do that and put it like that and then give yourself a waist. And imagine it also with some trousers. I think this looks great with a pair of trousers or a pair of skinny jeans and a white t-shirt and dress it down. But it's just glamorousness. Yeah? Uh -huh. Good. All right, darling. Fantastic. Excellent. I mean, this is magnificent. Now we're going to just kill ourselves with the price of it. We want to know the price, don't we? You know what? I thought I was going to read more. It's 139. 
which I've got to say for what it is. No, I'm, I'm afraid I have to try it on Tina because I'm, I'm a bit obsessed. I'm just a bit obsessed. And I'm going to try it with black trousers just so you can see it with a black trouser um, as well. Because I just want to see this look and how one should do this look. I'm, I'm so impressed. I want to check up now. And use the, one thing I'd say about a cape, I'm going to say a few things. When you wear a cape, the worst sleeve length to wear with it is what I'm wearing. Because you don't want to, you either go sleeveless and you wear them in the summer like the white Zara cape, where you just, it acts as that little protection when we don't want to show off full arm. And it kind of cuts it in half. But it's more that for the flow of fabric, you either want something that comes all the way down or isn't there. And that's just the kind of thing. But I think to wear it open is lovely. And I, I really like this idea too of just having that. Um, really cool. Oh, yes. I, I'm, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. It's just, it's brilliant. And with a skinny jean, you could do a wide trouser with this. I've, I've always had rules, as you know, of, of saying things like volume with skinny or skinny with volume. And some of the rules I'm breaking. So with Chloe, we do now break rules because I think to myself, that outfit might not be on Chloe. Exactly what Susanna and I might have said about separation lift of boobs. But I see the joy it gives Chloe as a woman to wear it. And ultimately, <laughs> that's one thing I've learned in my old age is it's the joy outfits give you. So, you know, I've learned a lot from you, Chloe. But it's just so with me, I would normally say, skinny jean like I said to you but actually there's an elegance about the yeah, white really trousers as well with those trousers. Um, that might not be there with a skinny jean that's yeah. very authentic isn't yeah. it yeah, yeah. okay mm, love that so can you hold on to that please yeah. thank you very much you're going <laughs> you go. to be the sherpa because you don't have to carry anything we won't have too big a pile there all right okay ladies so okay. we're happy with Bieber we've learnt something all of us today that Bieber is a really exciting brand to look out for and it was such a joy to find something here. It's reminiscent to me of Alice Temperley for, um, for John Lewis. Mm. I think those are the two best brands. So House of Fraser, this might be the best brand we're going to find here. I don't know yet in terms of something exciting. But uh, she, and she's going to get that shirt. We can look at if there's anything on sale. Our little dresses. I mean, these are all rather pretty dresses. They yeah, are actually. What? Gorgeous colored dresses. That, that is one of the most divine Pinky red, so that shade, it's a beautiful shade. That's like, so for you, would be such a pretty shade. That 99 pounds, so that's kind of smart to dress. To what? Ruffly, I think. Sorry. Really? I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's ruffly about it? There is this. Okay. I think it's too all right, do we need to see her in it? Yeah. 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 You've got the okay, come on, darling. Mean, Roughly, you've got the height, you've got the height. This is all about preconception. No, I'm not taking this off in here. <laughs> this is what? Are you not? You're not. You're not. This is what we're all about, all right? Okay. <laughs> I don't think okay, I this is too big for you because it's a 12, but we're just going to try it. Do you want to do it over your dress? No, we've got to... I don't know whether we can. Um, we need to get a change in the room, just so. We've got it. All clad. All clad. Let me just move my It's happening. Bag. Nice to be London bag. Yeah, thank you. It's only the keynote in today, isn't it? You've got a figure like that. What are you worried about? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I won't be doing that. No. Excellent. Okay, turn around. So it is not the right size, but just showing the concept. And somebody's saying, I can't wear a ruffle. You look okay, come over here. What, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, lift up, lift up there, lift up there. Lift up. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, now. No, it's not my ND. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We were wondering. So, what makes you think you can't wear a ruffle? It's a lot. <laughs> you were wearing a very I know. Audrey Anglaise dress. I think what I love in this peplum is your waist, her waist yeah. is tiny. The colour is so beautiful on you. Maybe you want to wear it with a flat white trainer and not a black boot. Mm, definitely. That's something to consider. We want to see your ankle. <laughs> so sometimes if you're wearing a ruffle, what makes it too sort of Victorian mm. is a little boot, because they would wear a little block boot, black boot. So you want to take it totally away from any it's traditional it's heritage it might park back to. So flat white trainer from the French Connection, a cool little necklace mm. little and a bit of yeah, but I Will think you do the, yeah. earrings that. You could do either. A part of me feels that you, like me, we have quite a Bony. dominant collarbone, so we want to kind of break it up. Okay. So that's why I might say that, even though you've got a lovely neck and long earrings, will be great. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I think the colour sublime. All right, cool. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to move on from Bieber. No, we're not there, sir, but we like it. <laughs> worth going to. I got my mic in. Yes. Yeah, all good. Now, Coast. Do you? How often have you ever shopped at Coast, ladies? Coast had some issues. There's even more Bieber dresses here. I mean, this is just. Look at them. Oh wow! Oh wow! Great dresses. I feel we need to get some women in long dresses. Yeah. What size do they go up to? Let me just see this. Sixteen. Okay, okay, darling, could you, no, could you do, no, you're gonna, you're gonna, Studio 54, yeah. that is Studio 54. <laughs> That's Who wants to try Studio 54 here? Who's up for a 54 try? Who's scared of wearing a jumpsuit? Who's scared? Okay, you're gonna wear it. Okay, come on. See you in a jumpsuit. All right, so where are you gonna try it on? Could she try on? Yeah. You go and... I mean, so you go or we come back and to see you. We need to see it. Must have taken off before we see it. <laughs> like this. Okay, I mean, are we trying on more? Ah. Are we trying on more? Are we trying on more? Do you like it, babe? Try them on. Because you don't like black, do you? I don't like black and print. Generally, when I'm so falling in love with everything here. <laughs> <laughs> Does it just look a bit. I tell you, I love the trouser, but not the. What did you see? I'm considering oh, doing the trouser yeah. with the shirt. Wow, yeah. Okay, because you if you look at the yellow, no, is, better, it, is there a, an yeah, ability? Yeah. Sometimes when a print is really loud, wear another print with it to, to you know, I talk yeah, yeah, about yeah. subduing a print. Yeah. Sometimes that's the best way to subdue a print as opposed to putting, you know, the same print on again. Okay. You could try that. Do you want to try that on? Can't And with the black jacket? Yeah. When well, you go and do that, look for I'm us. Go and do that. Find your sizes, do the look. Okay, go. Let's see if there's anything here now. <laughs> and coast. Now, coast has had nice things. I have bought things from Coast. I've got lovely big skirts. But they do occasionally have, like that to me is actually a really beautiful evening dress. What am I trying? Just try it. Okay, you have to try it. for a little bit. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Okay, all right, well, let's try. Do you have boobs? No. You don't? Okay. So <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know. 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 I think it's too... Well, I think it's too big. The only woman who's wearing your size is unfortunately still. <laughs> um, but I think I need something that's slightly bigger. What are you doing here? I'm a 14 and it will be a bit too. You know what? You're a 14 that's going to be. <laughs> and you're going to wear it. I know you've got a cleavage in you. And he's a 14. So I would love okay, you go. to try. There's a 14. Okay, uh, but you are going to look killer. Oh, now, madam. Okay, come on. Oh, I love the form of it. I can't. I'm not. Stop it. Let's just see. Let's just see. That's the idea. So, first of all, Alice, Hi. another customer. Yeah. Okay. I so know. Alice, in her other life, has a tolle lingerie, and Alice is knowing about breasts. So, your okay. breasts are comfy and sconced and something which is not, not right. fitting. Just. Not, right. not fitting. Not no, fitting. Fit. No, it doesn't have left. So, oh. so that's something that will be addressed later. But as a Probably concept a of a jumpsuit, yeah. I'll tell you what's difficult about this. Yeah. Is, it's it's open. Difficult about this. It's it's open. Is it open at the back? So it's like you don't want to lose that sleeve, but it's open at the back. So in a way, it rules out anyone who feels they have to wear a bra or uncomfortable around there. But can I say from the front? It's and beautiful. And most importantly, the concept of a jumpsuit works for you because you're very in proportion if not a bit long-legged short-waisted short and short-waisted long-legged are the best candidates for jumpsuits much better than long because long body short leg like myself we always have a little camel foot uh, camel toe but uh, there's something you know just introduce you to the idea yeah? okay, so great let's then um, take that off and let's see if we can find more jumpsuits we've got another outfit or two being tried there whilst we're doing that so anything else here we want to look at Anything else we like with? Feel that itch for coast. For me. I liked this oh, idea wow. too. I thought this was fab. This is great. Oh, darling, let me just see. So I think I have to get a fortune to get the boobies yeah, in, but there's too much. Too much. Um... Jane's got amazing boobs. <laughs> As an idea. 
I think it's kind of fab, actually. I do think it's fun. I think, I think it's it was just pulling right a bit here. Oh, is it? And just, you need to just, well, it just needs to just be like that. But have a look, show the ladies. Just the idea of the fun of that. And then whilst we're here, I did, I did, I did find this. I just love this. No, I don't need to put it on. <laughs> just draping. I love draping. But I kind of think, you know, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> so I love sort of like, there's everything in there which is to do with going to bed or a pyjama party <laughs> and a flannel dressing gown. But yes, it's something quite nice about it. I think though that the padding, because you're top heavy, yeah. it makes you perhaps too, yeah, too broad. So we need a fitted jacket right. okay. because we want to get more form on those boobies. Right. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. Look, look at that. Oh, my God. She'll undo gorgeous. that. Yep. Put that jacket up. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. And again, one. again, another customer for you. Alice, put Alice. Just that dress. <laughs> Go on to be Can we just do oh, a little... But I think this dress yes. is quite superb because you can wear the print for sure. Do you see that we see we see her before we see the print? Yeah. Shows off your waist. I love the deep V at the front, which is giving a very good shape to your body without revealing too much. Um, turn around, darling. And I love the make. Oh back. my god! It's of, just perfect. Tippy toes and twelve. Tippy toes. Tippy toes and twelve. I mean, this device. I mean, full of drama. It's great, yes. Yeah. Get it. That is really great. I think we might have Tippy toes and twenty minutes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. really. It will look better on Chloe than me, but that's a Friday twenty moment. Yeah, okay, great. All right. Fantastic. Well done. Post. Who would have known? Thank so you. For another ten minutes. We could spend the whole day in Bieber. <laughs> I've got to say, it's just very, very good. How do you have a very pretty dress? Oh, wow. It's a really pretty dress, isn't it? It's a kind of like self portrait y, French connection y kind of thing. It's like the dress. I've got a dress like the one the lady had on. That's like your dress. <laughs> yeah, lovely. I mean, that's like a self portrait dress, but that yeah. is a really pretty yeah. dress. Yeah. You know, not heard of this. Yeah. Well, who can see that dress? So are you going to try it? Are you are for trying it? Let's try it, darling. What size are we going to try? Let's see. So, okay, here, one of these two sizes is going to fit you. So this, Hal Hoover. So they look it up online. Find out about this brand. H-A-L-L-H-U-B-E-R. I'm presuming it's something that feels Scandinavian. It's um, kind of like, it's interesting because we can look at dresses like this which is actually really pretty. And it's sort of like H&M and Zara had a baby and created Hal Hoover. You know <laughs> what I mean? Because if this was in me and M, I mean me and M, it would be like 250 pounds. So this is 149. If it was in Zara, it would be 49 or 69.99. So it is, that's what I feel this brand is. But the color's lovely. I'd, I'd like you to try this dress. Yep, okay, let's try this dress. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fantastic. So I think you're gonna be 34. So basically, it sounds like it's House of Fraser's own label. And Amazon is That is fab. That's what I call a perfect layering piece. Darling, you're a striped lady. Me? Yeah. Are you in our team? Or are you just joining us now? I'm just on the street. I'm just a hanger So Lynn is looking chic and elegant. Classics. A Breton jumper, a little pair of uh, chinos, skinny-ish, a nice comfortable shoe, and a little, um, little puppet jacket. Little makeup. <laughs> we could do more, by the way. Three Belvedere lands down the road. Yeah. But I just want to try a more cheery little moment. And this is maybe too big or not. I don't know, or too small. But I want to have, first thing I want to do is I want to have the colour right by your face. And then I want to get a different kind of jacket. Let's see what else I've got here that we can try. Come on, ladies, look at the inspiring. <laughs> I'm going to take that and then I'm just going to, you might feel this feels night shirt but I'm just going to tuck a bit of it in like that, excuse me, I'm going to get to your tummy there, I'm going to do a little tucking in, like that. and then I'm going to have that sort of like, it's what I call the half tuck, just go with the flow, okay? Yeah! The half tuck like that. Elongates! Look at this! Can somebody find a long necklace for me? There, like that, and then come and look at me. 
Shush. 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 But you know, just kind of, just sort of. There's something so cool. about wearing structure right by your neckline. Okay. So I think when we get to a stage where our neck is not our best friend, we don't want stuff which is too removed from the neckline. Mm -hmm. So there's something interesting about really sharp around your face, really bringing in the colour. Yeah. So even if you then put that back on, I'm just going to put that back on you just to see, like that. Okay. Yes. Just, you see, there's something there which is so much more. And yeah. this is loud. It's super it fresh. You know, it wouldn't work the layering with the jacket on. And we might want to be just doing that. But it's just, there's a stripe and then there's a stripe. And it's getting the right stripe for you and the right direction. Because when you're going breadth ways, all right, and you're doing a stripe like that, it can, it can give you a very sloping shoulder and edgy. And if you do this stripe, and it's like right by your neck, it's like, you know, it's just a bit more, because I come in here, so see, cool. see, darling. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. But just, yeah. do you see, and you're yeah. pulling down over that, you've got phenomenal legs, I know you're over 50, you've got amazing legs, and, you know, having a necklace, being a bit cool, this jacket now, everything feels sharper, yeah. and having all that colour there, you might feel it's a bit constricted, but it's brought all that colour right by your face. Anyway, yeah. I'm leaving you with that idea. Okay, All right, thank darling. you very much. Okay, <laughs> let's see that gorgeous <laughs> dress on you. Wow. My God, that's fab. That is so fab. Okay, well, it's it's perfect as well, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, okay, it's just too long. I, mean, I think that depends how you want to wear it. I mean, this could be a really smart, lovely thing, mm. and then you would wear it with a heel, yeah. and then you wouldn't need to take it off. No. So when you are, what are you, five foot five? Four. All right, so five foot four is not like the challenge is laid down five foot two or five foot three. But don't forsake a great dress because it's, oh, it's two inches too short. Yeah. Because pay 10 quid or 15 quid and get it taken off. Yeah. And if you want to wear it, with, I think it's a lovely dress to wear, the, to wear with a trainer. I know. You know, I, I think was, it's that look. Everything's a trainer. Everything's a trainer. Everything's a trainer. Because it makes us feel ageless. Yeah. So I just take it up a couple of inches, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's really, really yeah, it's gorgeous. Really and you could have it like that, done up, or yeah. we could get some long necks again. You have those long necks in there for us for a second. Can oh, and this is the right color as well now. Okay. Yeah. Just, I mean, it might not be the right one, but just, you know, just to bring that hippy dippiness yeah. and open it up there, I think could be quite cool. And don't feel if you're petite, you can't wear a long necklace. Yeah. You know? Nice. Good to go! Yes! Fantastic. And we got the dress here, okay. Not me. Too. Two little girly. I, yeah. I think the print is divine, but I think that weirdly you're more classic and not, you know, when we, my sister in law used to have this complicated thing, she was with House of Colour, and there was like autumn, winter, spring, summer, but there was also gamine, da da da. And then Susanna and I wrote a book about who do you want to be today, and it was all about are you a gamine, are you a sex bomb, are you androgynous? And with you, you're sort of romantic classic, but not pretty, pretty classic. Yeah. And, and, that's, pretty. and that's pretty, pretty this is, classic. Yeah, this is pretty, but weirdly. Really. There's things you could do to change to make it work. So you could put a sexy white stiletto on and you could stop straightening your hair and be a bit messy, you know, and I know your, your hair is your thing that you have to really feel it's right. But yeah. as soon as your hair is messy and softer, yeah. then that does work a bit better. And then it just, it's because you're short-waisted. So really, you want that to work like that, yeah. you know, and really feel you've got it. And then a sexy stiletto. Because you need to look sharp, Sarah Jessica Parker, if you wear this kind of dress. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and make I think the hair you need tussled. to have a slimmer. Cut. You do not. You no. just need a high <laughs> shoe, darling. You just need a high shoe. I know you're feeling. Mm. I feel I got thicker cars, but you just need a really killer mm. high shoe. Yeah. Okay, ladies. Can I just say, ladies, ladies, ladies? I'm going to call it a day because I think we've yeah. seen a few things. I think has everyone nearly tried something on. I did it. I'm saying you didn't try something on, but you joined us later. No, no, no. no. She wants to work in Okay, fine, yes. Yeah. But I mean, I hope you all had a little thought of what could inspire you. We've been really lucky. Thank you so much for well, doing this for Trinity Tribe Southwest. Well, isn't, isn't it lovely to say? Thank you. It's going to be a given. So, when people work as. Those ladies at Trinity Tribe work really hard. My challenge to you is this we might come next to Edinburgh or Dublin or Belfast or wherever 
we will do this in those cities because I think it's really good for us to know That's what's really going on in those cities. So, watch out. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Trinity Tribe. Can you all just say hi?